Hey guys, Cobra here. Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, this one we'll talk about a little bit about the dupe system and what I think we might have coming into the future of Raid because Raid is not going anywhere for the, the time being. I mean, I see Raid being a top tier game the next one or two years, at least unless a big contender comes in to play around the same kind of graphics, the amount of champions, everything that we seem to love about Raid. Until that time, Raid will will be the king of these kind of games in my opinion and will attract the players who love and don't 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 like those anime style of games okay there's many of them out there and you're clearly still playing the game just because uh, of the graphics and the graphics are a big part of what is keeping you playing the game still i would say but that is not what i wanted to say guys what i wanted to say this is my main account guys you see all these legendaries this is by far not the biggest whale account out there uh this is a good whale account i mean I'm, up, I'm at about $10,000 spent to this account. I see it as an investment, of course, for YouTube, which is my business. Uh, I, I want to say I don't always see myself buying shirts as a way of an investment because it never pays out the way you think. But I do have like 100, more than 140 legendary champions. And many of them you can see here that are dupes. I mean, I'll have the strongest ray around or the strongest ghost points. Since I've got four of them, four rays. I've got two rotoses, two arbiters, not so many voids. Because I don't buy so many void shards, I find them very expensive, and I try to to be reasonable. Once I've uh, I've quit my main job, I only have YouTube to support me, so I'm very reasonable with my purchases since that time. But what I wanted to say and why I've shown you guys that thumbnail is uh, this thumbnail is very basic. It's it's a part of the marketing tools that Raid uses to attract players into the games. These are never found within the game, so this one tries to attract players who know the kind of matrix and what is behind matrix with the red pill and the blue pill it doesn't have to do with anything that's in game and many of the raid ads or uh, raid pictures and ads that you see don't even have anything that's actually in game it's the marketing department they do their thing and the raid department where they develop stuff they do their thing and probably they have no idea of what each other is doing for a good amount of the time but uh the the red shard there made me think okay will we ever see an improvement to the raid shard system by the way guys a quick shout out to soundstripe.com they are affiliated to me if you want to get a 15 percent discount to copyright free music definitely check it out they've got their own twitch pro extension you can use it even for your streaming over on twitch and for any of your content, check it out. 15% discount for you guys. As I said, I have 140 uh, legendary champions. I don't have all of the legendary champions. There's still many legendary champions that I don't have. And uh, just to give an example, there's 105, 106 legendaries at the moment, which are non-void. Okay. Some of them we cannot acquire through shards very specifically. You can see them here in this specific list from any shard. You cannot get Thea, um, Gomlock um who else is is i think eurost is a void i think can't remember uh ninja so let's say 100 legendary champions that you can get from a shard at the moment and at a 0.5 percent chance the, the chance of getting a specific champion is very low i have my calculator up and ready just to give you guys a crash course in what kind of chances we're looking at so we have a 0.5 percent chance on an ancient that's one over 200 okay so 200 times the 100 champions that we have that can be acquired through shards that's one shot out of 20,000 that will give you your specific champion so you're looking for a dracomorph you will need around about and it's all luck based of course 20,000 shards open to get a specific champion okay and given a price of about a dollar per shard that's twenty thousand dollars spent i'm not saying you will need twenty thousand dollars for a specific champion but i'm just saying this is how statistics works and this is a big part of why why games are not only raid many games out there even hearthstone even diablo 3 that are played they have within them a mercy system okay the mercy system is not always the same the mercy system was introduced to raid some time ago and the reason was for this low chance that that you need to get a legendary champion that 0.5 percent chance i'm not talking about the one um the, the 20 000 chance. i'm talking about the 0.5 percent chance people will still be unlucky 
and when they are unlucky they will be angry and that's why mercy systems comes into play so i gave you an example of diablo which i used to play which um didn't have a mercy system but they introduced a mercy system for legendary items that you would get within the game because players would not get them but um after a while they consider okay we should introduce a mercy system to the legendary items that drop and one every i don't know how many runs you would get a legendary item guaranteed okay and the reason for that is to counter this bad rng that can happen and to counter the feeling of being unlucky and the bias that is created by a player when he gets unlucky within the game the um the anger that they might feel towards the game and and everything that revolves around it so what i wanted to think of okay all of this is great, Colbert. Where are you? What is? What's your point <laughs> with this video? Well, my point with this video and the picture, of course, we just saw is: Will we ever see a shard, like a red shard or whatever, which will give us a guaranteed legendary champion? And I'm not talking a guaranteed a specific champion that would be insane. They would never do it. Like, okay, I want to get a CP and poop. I got a CP. Everybody has a CP now. No, I, I never think they'll do it. But will we ever see a red shard here at the bottom? I mean, there's room. There's room here. If I move myself, there's there's enough room for one more shard, okay? There's enough room for one more shard, okay? Consider that, Flarium. Uh, so, will we ever see a red shard there which will give us a guaranteed legendary champion at any price? Okay, will that shard be achievable through quests, through achievements? That would be very nice to have, especially, especially for new players. That would be very nice to have and it will give you a unique champion. It's something that we need with a game uh, going at over 600 champions. I think that will be a step forward with the game and I see it happening. And the thing is, I see it happening. With the dupe system announced, guys, we saw um, of the part two of the dupe system. So remember, there was three parts. One of them was the faction empowerment. So each faction, once you get a dupe, it will empower the whole faction for legendaries or if it's a dupe epic for epics and if it's a dupe rare for rares. But... But guys, the second part was for the bigger whales who have multiple copies of a champion. So I'm one of those bigger whales, but not for the good champion. So if you guys don't already have four uh, leveled up Cupidus, of course, I will not be feeding them to make a strong Cupidus like the ultra mega Cupidus. Uh, <laughs> that would be fun, though. If, if the level and masteries mattered and made him way stronger, then I would be happy. But they would never they're not going to do it like that for sure. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep them for the meme and because there's a video out there of me playing around with these four champions Anyway guys, so uh, the part of me was okay um, Empowering a champion will still mean that you need to have very bad RNG or very specific RNG to get that one Over 20,000 charts to get a specific champion Let's say you're looking for that final copy of Tranda You want to have your one Tranda plus four copies to have a plus four Tranda it's gonna be a lot of shards and it's gonna be like an impossible task. It will be for those perfectionists or for those big whales who have more money to spend than anything else. They don't wanna buy a second or third yacht. They they wanna call their first yacht Tranda and they wanna sell their other yachts in order to get that plus four Tranda going, okay? So, <laughs> so what I think is a, a red kind of shard. It doesn't have to be red. A red shard is coming. And if you ever think that the game will be evolving, this part of the system should evolve as well. The same way that the Mercy system has evolved because we didn't have a Mercy system. The same thing should happen with the 10x chances. They should become 20, 20x chances. Shards should maybe go up in percentages now that legendaries have more value than before. Maybe they should go to 1% and be 2% on 2x days. Plarium, come on. It makes sense, you know, uh, the 12% on a sacred, I think it's still, it's a good chance, but we might want to see more sacreds be available. I'm just, I'm just begging here at this point uh, of the video. I, they will never see my videos for this kind of thing. I, I, it's, it's just me talking to you guys. So what do you think? Will we ever see this kind of thing? I know that you will be negative and pessimistic about this, but, but see it as a point of discussion okay will we ever see a kind of shard that is a guaranteed champion i would want to see it and i think would be the 2022 and going forward for raid as the only solution for players to be closing into that perfectionist or completion completionist is a more proper word in terms of champion collection because um just having one copy of a champion anymore is not enough 
you're gonna need multiple copies of them and filling out the factions will be almost an impossible task okay um not impossible i never said the word impossible it's gonna, gonna be highly improbable that's the word when you're dealing with statistics guys it's not impossible it's only highly improbable to happen and that's what i remember from my from my statistics professor in the university at least so this was the video guys nothing too special about it i, I it was just me speculating it's all that speculation about the game and what will come to the game in the future if you ever think that this the red shards are coming or we get a a morpheus type of galek coming into the game with the sunglasses i would have loved that okay give you the choice have all leather have two guns in his hands and go all crazy like morpheus in the matrix which is coming by the end of the year guys definitely gonna watch uh the matrix for if you guys love the matrix also leave it in the comments i want to see that side of you guys as the audience. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.